into this episode of the lesson. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to append data to your file. In the previous episode, we learned how to use the print writer. And then we mentioned that the print writer, although can help you to write into, into your, your file, it overrides the content of the existing file all the time. So thereby making it seem as if the single file is created at each instance. It is the content that is overridden. So you are unable to add to it. Okay. So now what we want to do is to solve the problem that the anytime we run the code, it will override the content of the existing data. You, we may want to keep the existing um, file content. Therefore, we want to add to the content and not delete the content. Now, to be able to append data, we instead of using the print writer alone, we would also be including the use of the class called file writer. Okay, so. We include the file writer. We create an object for the file writer. Let's call that, let's say, FW new file writer. We actually want to write right into this file. So we take off this parameter away from this from the uh, constructor of the print writer and then we still put it in the file writer and then we pass on a parameter as it is true yes it should be able to write to this repository the students dot tst okay now who we'll do uh, so we instead pass on the object of the file writer as as an input to As an input to the print writer um, let's see why why do we have this here true a clause all right so we will throw the exception here so then if it is unable to identify we have another here convert this to a resource Okay, so try simply means that is to make an attempt of writing into this repository. That is the file. If it's unable to, sorry, it should try doing this whole activity. Okay. Um, we would spend in another edition, or, sorry, another episode of this video to explain full issues on exceptions. Okay. Which will include having to use the try and then catch exceptions. Okay try and catch exception or throw in an exception right so basically basically now now with what we have done including the file writer we would be able to append data to the end of the existing file so let me save this and then look at this this is the output from the previous one but you have made a change to your code which will mean that we should be able to add an additional data to this okay so when we run our code, we are expecting that it will add more content. It will add that same content to the existing. So if we have run the code, did it build successfully? Yes, it did. So let's go back to the student file. You see, it has added um, it. The input once again they have been written to the file. All right. So let's get back again to this side. Let's run it twice and see if it will add twice. Build successfully. Let's add again. Sorry, let's run it again. All right, let's try for the last time. So it should have added three more instances to the file. So we will open this file and then see it up. Yes. So that is how to append append data to an existing file. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below i'll come back to answer them if you liked it you can share you, you can like the video yep hope to see you in the next episode